Welcome everybody, it's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Bit of an unusual one today, bit of fly on the wall of what Phil Beckwith does on a weekend. Um, we're very much uh, a family that's got National Trust membership. Sometimes we go to places that we find, or I shall I say, find a bit mm, like that. But this, I'm at Wittick, I think you pronounce it Wittick Manor over in, um, where am I? Wolverhampton. Yeah, sorry, I'm over in Wolverhampton. Now this house, you'll see, I'll just walk around. This house is one of the Manders um, family homes. Now, if you're into your painting and decorating, you'll have heard the word Manders. Manders was an uh, ink and varnish manufacturer in the 1800s. Um, I'll say, nine, well, yeah, about, around about 1850 or something like that. They had this house built um, 1887. Now, this in 1887 was really classed as a new build house. This is scaffolding because there's work being done. A new build house. Now, when I say new build, you can probably just see, let's get you back. It had plumbed in water, it had plumbed in electrics, it was state of the art at the time. And you're going to say, Phil, Phil, why are you, why are you telling us all this? If you're into your paints and your wallpapers, this is a place that you'd want to actually come to because the biggest majority of the fabrics and the wallpapers in this house are, da, 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 probably seen the thumbnail or title, William Morris. You've heard of those, haven't you? Now, I'm not allowed to film inside, but I'm gonna go inside, get some photos, and actually, after this little bit of an interlude, I'm just gonna put some, I'm gonna put some photos so you can actually see what's actually inside the house. So, um, Without further ado, I'm going to go into some little bit of the music and you'll see what's inside the house. But the wallpaper is, if you're interested in this sort of thing, is just, well, mind blowing. I just thought I'd walk around the front of the property and just let you see what it's like. If you can just see it scaff behind the scaffolding. Oh yeah. Clearly you can see that the scaffolding's a modern um, ad addition to the building. All properties need a bit of maintenance and this one is no exception. But thanks to the donations that people give to the National Trust. I'm gonna put a link below to the National Trust website. And but I'll put a link in so you can find out a little bit more about the property. But as you can see, the style of the house looks really old, but in the bigger scheme of things, this isn't an old house. As I said, 18, 87 this is when it was built but it actually looks a lot older than that it's um really a victorian um sort of sort of age of house being built but it's got if you see the tudor I, we call it the tudor cladding it's it feels like very much a uh, henry the eighth war of the roses as we'd call over in the uk the tudors and stuff like that it's the tudor style of house but it's not that sort of um, property at all. Once you go in, it's actually quite modern. There is bathrooms in there. There is flushing toilets and things like that, which is quite nice. Um, I have spied around the back of the house and I'm not gonna take you in there. They've got a lovely little coffee shop and um, yeah, hot chocolate on a, a cold autumn stroke winter's day is um, very much appreciated. So my wife's over there with the kids on the play park and I'm gonna chat her up for some um, money for a hot chocolate in a little while but enjoy the photos that are going to come through and I'll talk to you at the end so see you in a bit
did you see those um, pictures? It was only brief, and this is only actually a brief video, but if you're not a member in the National Trust and you're interested in houses like this, it's well worth joining. Uh, top of my head, I think family membership's about 120 pounds. It's also really good if you want to give somebody a, a nice gift if they're into gardens and houses, stately homes. If you're over in America, you know the history of England this is probably something that if you come across to, uh, you know, when you do your Europe trips and you do a whistle stop, stop tour of doing England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, France, everywhere like that, you'll be probably stopping off at National Trust properties in England, uh, in the UK to see the history that we've actually got. And this building here behind me, and I'll spin around, you can just see it over the hedge, is just fantastic. The gardens are, we're into winter now and it's obviously everything's dying back and being cut back but you only have to walk around the gardens and appreciate actually what money some of these people that have got these houses have actually had over the years. Now this house, I said it was a Manders um, property and um, the family Manders. The second, the son of Manders that had it built, he was on his second wife. Now it, this property was handed over to the National Trust in um, 1937 and one of the reasons that they believe it was handed over to the National Trust was because he'd got, obviously it was on his second wife, he'd got a number of children and he didn't want the house being broke up and split when he died to be lost. So he handed it over to the National Trust in, in 1937 and then it wasn't up until his wife, which is his second wife, died in, I believe it was 1988, that the actual National Trust could then properly get their hands on it and have it as one of their National Trust properties. Because up until then, it was on an agreement that the Manders family could still live in here while, well, clearly while they were still alive. But once they died, then it was properly handed over to the National Trust. But this is a lovely, property to go and visit you've seen the photos more it was for more for me to show you some of the wallpapers that are well we're going to say over 100 years old if you're into your wallpaper as i said at the beginning if you're into your wallpaper you will probably recognize some of these wallpapers that are still around today and william morris wallpapers and fabrics are still producing these sorts of patterns and I believe there's a, a place in Loughborough that is producing block print wallpapers for when they need to do I'll say repairs on wallpaper and things like that because they've had water damage and things in these sorts of properties they are still producing these wallpapers but they're not cheap they're not cheap I'm sure I'd got it wrong it, it is actually pronounced Wittick Manor and um, if you're not used to National Trust properties, this is like the gatehouse entrance where you go and pay your fee to get into the house. And as I said a little bit earlier on, if you're a National Trust member, these are all free. You pay your, your fee for the year and then you'll um, go around the house, no extra cost. Whereas if you're an individual or a family coming in, it could be, depending on the house that you go to or stay at home, it could be 20, 30 pounds a visit. So it actually comes very um, cost effective to become a member. If you want something to do on a weekend and go out and you're interested in stately homes and gardens. And over the summer, gardens can be beautiful. So this is Wittick Manor and we're over in Wolverhampton. That's virtually the centre of England-ish, sort of, near Birmingham. If anybody wants to know, it's near Birmingham. You know where that is. <laughs> 